Hi, my name is Megan. I'm one of the nursing students here at the clinic. Nice to meet you, uh, Megan. My name is uh, Jared Walters. Nice to meet you, Jared. So, um, how old are you and what do you do for a living? I'm 71 and I used to be an accountant clerk and uh, just the local one there in town and uh, yeah. I so retired how many, uh, I think it's six years now, and I turned 65. So. Okay, awesome. I'm going to be asking you a few more questions. Um, the first one is, do you have a cough? And if you do, can you describe it to me? Uh, does it come and go? Is it pretty constant? Yeah, uh, that's actually why I came in here today, because uh, I, I've got this new cough, and it's super painful when I do it. Uh, I only got it within the last week. Um, is it productive, meaning does it produce any sort of like mucus or a phlegm? It, it's more so just blood, not really, really anything else. It's usually blood when I cough. <coughs> <coughs> it actually looks like this. So, yeah. I'm just going to note that down. Have you been experiencing any shortness of breath? Uh, yeah, actually since about a week ago. Okay, and you would say that this all of these symptoms kind of started a week ago? Yeah, everything, um, it's been about a week. Uh. Okay, my next question is, have you had any chest pain? Uh, yeah, actually since about a week ago. Okay. When is it worse, and is there anything that makes it feel better? Yeah, the worst of this pain, um, it's, it's when I... Breathe in and take that. I, I like to take short breaths and then it, it's a lot easier and it helps. Can you describe that pain for me, please? Yeah, I would describe this pain as sharp, like someone just stabbing me. Okay. And where is that pain and does it go anywhere or does it just stay in that spot? Yeah, it's, it's in my chest and. And on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being no pain at all and 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt, what would you rate it? I would say probably a 6. It is, it is pretty painful. Yeah. Okay. And does it come and go? Is it constant? It usually happens uh, just when I breathe in. I don't, I don't really know. Okay. And how has this pain affected you? Um, I've just been super scared just because I'm not really sure what, what's happening to me. Um, I'm really scared to move around because I don't want to, if anything's wrong, I don't want to make it worse. And I just don't know what I can do for myself right now to help with it. Okay. Do you have any history of respiratory infections? I have no um, respiratory um infection histories or anything like that to be concerned of. Do you have a history of smoking? Um, actually, I, I didn't used to be a smoker. Um, I used to smoke half a pack a day and I started when I was 26 and did it for 40 years. Um, I actually quit uh, five years ago now because um, I really wanted to improve my health, my overall health, and I just thought smoking might be a good place to stop to start okay are there any environmental factors or influences that might affect your breathing um i don't think so no um like i said before i i was accountant clerk so it was a it was merely a sit down office job nothing too nothing too uh extraordinary are you up to date with your flu vaccines uh yeah, my last flu shot was, um, I want to say it was November 2019. Yeah. And when was the last time you had a chest x-ray? I don't think I've ever had a, a chest uh, radiographic study. I've never had any chest problems before. Okay. Can you tell me about your um, sleeping habits, your diet, and your exercise habits, please? Um, well, I feel, um, uh, super tired all the time, but I'm getting, like, eight or more hours of sleep every night. 
Um, I eat out a lot just because it's too much of a hassle to make make a full meal for one person. And it's just so much quick and quicker and easier. Um, and by the time I got home from work, I was just too exhausted to to do any activities. And even now, I just I just by the time I get to let's do activity, I just can't do it. I just I can't bring myself to do it. And I know that that would be good for me. I just I'm just too tired. I don't have enough uh, motivation to be able to do it. Okay, that's all the questions that I have. Um, we'll get into the rest of the assessment. Okay, so I'm now going to be auscultating your posterior side. Okay, Jared, that's all for today. So the doctor will be in shortly. Um, it was really nice meeting you. Well, thank you very much, Megan. Uh, I think you've been quite helpful and 